thanks for sticking around. Um, I'm the closing act. <laughs>
Who here has $1.5 million to run for state assembly? Anybody? <laughs> I don't want to put anybody out of it. Most of us don't. Californians literally cannot afford to have our government run this way. We can't afford it. Candidates funded by the corporate elite gives us a government that serves only the corporate elite. I'm going to end the era of big money's control over California's elections. The play-to-pay system must go. I will enact a public campaign financing system like the states of Maine and Arizona have already done. If we want a government that serves the public, we need candidates who are publicly funded. legislative districts in the United States. Our state senators represent more people than our U.S. congressional reps. There are only 80 state reps and 40 state senators for nearly 40 million of us. You know, that's not quality time. That's not representation. We need smaller districts for more accountable representation, for functional representation. You know, that's what government is supposed to be. We're, we're kept out at every point. We're kept out at the private debates. The debates have been made into private events that if we send our candidates to attend these debates, we get arrested, we get chained to you know, chairs for hours. Um, we're excluded from TV, we're cut off. We've got a top two primary. It needlessly is reducing voter choice for us. They're trying to predict the outcome of our democracy. I would, ad I would not only advocate for the repeal of the top two primary, I would use special elections as proving grounds. I would use special elections to prove that we can move forward on all these much needed election reforms. Instant runoff voting, public financing, proportional representation, and we've got to figure out how to abandon the top two primary. We can do all this and more, but I need your help. Uh, I hope you all signed up those sheets with your email. Um, I've got to reach 1.5 million of you and it's really hard to do that when I'm not sponsored by Monsanto or GE or something. <laughs> and I don't, you know, it's hard to do that. So I'm going to do it regardless because I don't care. It's an act of defiance. It, um, please give generously. We don't have any PACs or corporate funding for this campaign. That's what distinguishes the Green Party and what validates what we're doing. We don't take that corporate money. And that, that's the core difference. We don't take the money. You know, with, you know, we're all going to here. With money comes strangers, and they, they're told what to do with that money. So we don't take it. I hope you will engage in this campaign to help me reach the voters, and I'm going to need your help to make it through. Um, you deserve a government that represents you. And, uh, you know, just please take a look at what I'm doing over the next coming months. I'm going to be running for a year. And, you know, I'm not going to be on television. They don't even put our governor candidates on, on television. Uh, I'll be lucky to get some radio spots, and I'll just be earning as much media as I can. I'll do whatever it takes to earn some media. And so I'm not afraid of you know, getting arrested. I'm not afraid of, you know, I come from a family of law enforcement. I'm really comfortable dealing with <laughs> I, I can bring things to the game with me. And as far as getting into the debate, you know, they're excluding us from the de debates with private hired cops, rent cops. Well, I, I can rent some cops, too. <laughs> so, we're gonna, we're gonna be in so thanks for coming. Thanks for sticking it out. And uh, let's go get them.